Hi, I'm Teacher Edgar, and we are working on Intentional Teaching Card M93, which is Count and Trace. We're going to need a few things for this activity. One, some 3x5 cards, or any regular piece of paper actually will do, and what you're going to do is write a number and a corresponding dot underneath it. For example, one dot for the number one, two dots for the number two, and so on. You can make this go from 1 to 10, 1 to 3, 1 to 5, whatever you feel is appropriate. And what we're going to do first is we're going to have our child come over and trace the number, try to say the number, and try to count the number of dots. Any of those activities is absolutely wonderful. If you can do all of them, just one of them, help them through the steps. Emmett, come on over. You can stand right over there. What number do I have here? One. One. You're right. And what I'm going to do with the number one is I'm going to trace it with my finger. I'm going to go like this. One. And then I'm going to count. One. Are you ready to try? What number do I have here? Two. Two. Can you trace that for me, please? You wrote the number two. How many dots do we have here? One, two. Thank you. I mean, why don't you go back over there? If you need to, you can help guide their little hand to help count the dots. You can provide the voice for it. They can actually just respond receptively. They can just show a two or they can point to show the two dots. Any form of communication is wonderful. And any attempt that they make is wonderful. So we're going to move on now to the next step. Emmett, are you ready? Okay. You're going to need a corresponding number of objects to match the cards. For instance, we have one through five, so I pulled up five erasers. We just have them at home. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show them a card and ask them to do all those steps and then some other steps involving some writing or pre-writing skills. Emmett, what card do we have here? Three. Three. Can you trace the number three for me, please? And let's count together. One, two, three. Thank you. Now, can you find three erasers and take them? Oh, let's count how many you have. One, two, three. And what I'd like you to do is to trace these objects. You're going to hold your pencil and you can just make a line around the eraser. It doesn't have to be perfect. No. Now, I did one. You can do the other two. Thank you. While he's doing that, let me go over a few points with you. It doesn't have to be perfect. And even if your child just makes a few marks, wonderful. Great, because we don't learn how to write right away. And sometimes children will have a different time of grasp to their, to their writing instrument. If your child is holding it with a palmer grasp, great. Let them make the lines. If they are using a tripod grasp, wonderful. They can do that too. The object is to just try to go around the objects. And it doesn't have to be that small. It can be bigger, smaller, whatever you have at home and just try to develop a one-to-one -one correspondence. You're trying to help them understand that this is the number three and what the value of that number is. How's it going, Emmett? Oh, you're all done? Let's take a look. Let's count. What did we have here? We had, can I borrow your hand? We had one, two, three. Let's count together. One, two, three. You're really good at tracing. It's a gentle touch. If you find that your child is being a little resistant, doesn't want to draw, don't force it. It's okay. Even if there's just marks, they can just tap it on the paper. Great! They're trying. And that's what we have to reward and celebrate. In fact, I haven't celebrated with you. High five! So, what we're doing is using number concepts and 
operations. And we're also developing fine motor skills, we're developing receptive skills, expressive skills, we're counting, we're developing one-to-one -one correspondence. It's a lot in just one activity. You can do just one part, you can just practice the counting. One, two, three. You can try matching objects to the numbers, or you can go for the whole, the whole gamut. You can, or you can just practice drawing. Any part of this is going to help develop their skills. So, did you like it? Yes. It's fun. Try it. Thanks for watching.